Hi, I'm Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out of the UK and I'm just um, finding topics which I think might be of interest. And today's one is um, about racial profiling. Well, we have to call it that. A rose by any other name is still a rose. And even though racial profiling is unlawful, how are the police meant to identify foreign um, foreign nationals and immigration offenders if they don't. I mean, when you think the UK is premised on white, white people, the majority of the police force is white. So anything that's non-white is foreign. So the colour of your skin, your accent, the clothes you wear, um, your behaviour, all of those things shout out to a policeman that you're a foreign national, whether or not you're born in the country or not, that they'll find that out afterwards. But as they have a target to meet with deportation and lowering net, migrate, lowering net migration, of course, who are the easy targets? People with this colour skin or the Asian colour skin. Um, some of the EU nationals have slipped under the radar, especially those ones who are not exercising their treaty rights. They slipped under the, the radar because they're white, the majority of them. So as a result, they too are being um, brought under the same umbrella as people of colour when it comes to the deportation and reducing um, illegal immigration. Now, it's very interesting because when you think between the 31st of, no, the 1st of April 2015 and the 31st of March 2016, over 195,000 um, foreign nationals were arrested. So can you imagine in one year so many? So it is easy to target. Where I get a bit confused is um, under Operation Nexus, Nexus, which is where the police are working with the Home Office to deport, they're working with their command control unit. And what happens is when the police pick up someone, they have to. It's a part of their compliance, the, on part, part of the form that they complete, that they have to refer that person, that foreign national that they brought in, and remember it's based on colour more than anything else, to the um, Home Office to see whether or not, to see what their immigration status is. So that's probably why there's been so many. And once they've done that, they can either let that person go or not. Now, with some people, with some um areas they don't all you know their criminal records units they're not always compatible so if you have been held by the police and you're an overstayer and you didn't get taken away you're probably one of the lucky ones maybe they didn't have a, an immigration officer on site or something i don't know but that's the way it's working so um once they stop you for anything at all and under this new knife and crime bill even though it affects mostly teenagers they can be stopping adults under the same guise and saying oh well this is what we're checking when they stop and check you for because this gives them a legitimate reason to stop anyone um when they stop you all they've got to do is see how you speak see if you've got an accent and boof off they are to the command control unit verifying who you are blah 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 taking their fingerprints and that's it it's as easy as that so apparently under the race relations law uh, the immigration um, procedures is the one area where police can discriminate in that sense I mean they don't say in so many words but when you think about it how else can they not it, it's it's a discrimination um, it's discrimination by itself isn't it because if foreign nationals are not white apart from the EU nationals how you know they're easy to they're easy to detect the only thing is is that where it goes out of where it goes out of sync is where people are born here but they can only know if you're born here once they stop you and then they they're quite justified 
stopping you, even if you are born here and saying, OK, well, we need to check you for this. We need to check you for that. So if you're born here, it's a bit different. But even then, some people are saying they're born here when they're not. And so they still have to put you through a check, whether you're born here or whether you're not. So um, I think that was all I really wanted to say, to be honest. Um, yeah, with the Nexus um, operation, it is supposed to be high harm crime. Um, but they seem to be stopping people for low, low level crime, you know, like cannabis and stuff like that. Technically, what they stop you for under the uh, under the stop and search is supposed to be you're not supposed to be adding things to it if they suspect you of something whether it's carrying weed they can't then say oh i'm going to technically they shouldn't be able to say oh i'm going to check you out for something else they should really be stopping you for and this is where it gets discriminatory and unlawful because what is happening is they're stopping you for one thing and then they're pinning something else on you and that is and then once even um overstayers who don't have a criminal record who should be able to be removed or repatriated, they criminalise them once the immigration officer comes into, into the play, because then all of a sudden you've, co you've committed a criminal act. So it all, it's all very, very, um, it's all very, very cleverly done. It's all mastered very well. Um, yes, high, high, high harm crime. What do they call that? Anamatape? Something like that. Murder, treason, terrorism, rape, human trafficking, gang related, criminal organisation, grievous bodily harm, um, drug trafficking, firearm offences, sex offences, prolific minor offences. What they mean by prolific is more than three. So if you've done three robberies in a row, you're considered a prolific offender. So... Um, yeah, that section where I was saying that, you know, with the exception of immigration functions, um, you're not allowed to discriminate. That's section 19D of the Race Relations Act 1976 in bracket C.74. Yeah, I think. Um, anything else? Yeah, I think I've covered everything, really. Like I said, police are compelled to, you know, they haven't got a choice, really. Once they stop somebody, they have to put them through this um, immigration status check. It's on the form. Have you done it? Because apparently some in some areas like West Midlands and, you know, West Yorkshire, they weren't doing it. They had a local unit and somehow it was bypassing. But the Home Office wants to know everybody who's been arrested, every foreign national, even. And it's not just arrested for being a foreign national. It's if they suspect that they're a foreign national. So it is quite. So as long as you're black, you're, you're on you're, you're on target. That's basically it. And all of the EU nationals, if you're they're they're after you as well now, because if you're not exercising your treaty rights, you might get away with it a bit better. Because if you keep your mouth shut <laughs> and they don't hear your accent, you might get away with it a little bit. But, you know, it's the way the cookie crumbles. And that's all for now. Bye bye.